So the Ultima Handicap Chase is next. This is a Grade 3 Handicap. Uh, we've got a decent sized feel for this one. Uh, at the top we've got Obsidian Shard for Leon Van Rensburg, who's unshipped the pilot the last three times, four of the last five, but wins when he stands up quite often, so it could be an interesting runner. Geraldo for Darren Thompson. Watch Disorder, Leon Van Rensburg. Vimiero Bois for David Robertson. Joe Mon, Craig Beckwith. Akane Byrne, Martin Leadham. Magic Spell, Craig Beckwith. Fiddler's Bino, David Robertson. Clara Bell for Graham Cutterbuck. Crackled, Alex Cherry. Weeby, Clarity, Martin Leadham. Thick as Thieves, Kevin Minahan. Lions and Alex Cherry. Eyes of an Angel, Padre Hogan. Harry's your man. Stu Gray and Orlando Princess Vinnie Gerard. They're off and racing in the third race of the season's Cheltenham Festival. The first handicap, the first chance for some of the lesser lights to get a win, or should I say the first chance for somebody other than David Hoodie to get a win, because he hasn't got a runner in this one as they get to the first of the 18. And there's a four already there, thick as thieves has gone, so Kevin Minahan will have to wait a little bit longer for his first winner this season and Harry Germain has gone off into a five length lead so foot running Stu Gray charge has gone clear and gets to the second a bit of a mistake there by Leon Van Rensburg's obsidian shard towards the back and Harry Germain's in front from the second top weight Geraldo in second then comes Eyes of an Angel in the yellow the one closest to us as they get over the water is Achain Byrne was now jumped up into third there's a line of about five of them sharing fourth and two David Robertson horses are running together in the pink and the purple. Looking towards the back line zone, it's just the early back marker as they get over this ditch. And they all jump that okay with Harry's your man. Settled down in front to Akane Byrne on the near side. And Geraldo will run a far side as they take this fifth. And there's another one down there, Vimiero Bois gone. So that's one of the fancied runners that's gone. I think that Gray and me both discussed that one's chances in one of the segments that was lost so you might as well own up i certainly tipped it so that's my tip gone as they get over the ditch and over the next one they go and harry's your man is the clear leader from geraldo in second akane burn third and watch this order is fourth jomon is after that and then eyes of an angel with orlando princess and clara bell and we be clarity creeping a little bit closer as well they're racing downhill now and heading towards the next fence they're into the final two miles of the race now and Harry's your man he's five lengths clear for Stu Gray Geraldo second and Arcane Byrne is third Joe on fourth as they get over the seventh which they're all safely over watch disorder is after that one and then Clara Belt crackled is moving through the pack and then eyes of an angel in the yellow the one remaining David Robertson horse Fiddler's Bino in mid division with the green jacketed Orlando Princess for Vinnie Gerard closest to us and the crimson and a gold cap of Weeby Clarity over on the rail just having Alex Cherry's Lion Zone driven up its inside Obsidian Shard is next in the dark blue with a gold cap and then just a couple of lengths adrift for the rest of them is the second Alex, uh, Alex Beckwith horse uh, Craig Beckwith horse sorry and that's Magic Spell so they're racing up past the big screen then and they get over fence number nine and they're all safely over that one that'll be the final fence on the next circuit and Harry's your man will be hoping to still be in that position Crackled has come through into second Joe on third on the inside of Clara Belt then comes Weeby Clarity who's getting closer and Geraldo as they get to the next and I came burn as a faller at some point so I must have missed that one uh, commentator not having a very good day today he misses his own horse falling but it's uh, Harry's your man who's the leader from Crackled in second then Clara Bell is third and Eyes of an Angel fourth then Jomon and Geraldo as they get over number 11 they're all safely over that so three out of the race already then as they race down towards the next and Harry's your man he's going to lead them over the water all safely over it with Crackle second, Eyes of an Angel third, Jomon going well on the inside in fourth Orlando Princess is creeping closer then Watch Disorder and Lion Zone and then Geraldo as they come to another ditch all safely over that one. We be Clarity's the new back marker. Harry's your man has been in the lead all the way. Joe Mon has now moved through into second as they get to the next uh, mistake there by Geraldo. That one's dropping right back now. When it's Harry's your man and Joe Mon. And Eyes of an Angel in third. Magic Spell is really going well around the outside into fourth. 
Then comes Watch Disorder, Clara Bell still there, so is Lion Zone and Crackled Fiddlers. Bino isn't far away, Orlando Princess is next, there's plenty of chances they get over that ditch. And they're all over that one OK, with Harry Jaman being pushed along in the lead. Jomon appears to be going better on the outside in second. Then Clara Bell and Watch Disorder and Lion Zone and Fiddlers Bino. Jockey on eyes of an angel, a little look round to see where the rest of them are. And they've still got five furlongs to go. And they've still got three fences to get over. And it's Harry Jaman now joined by Jomon. Jomon just pokes its head in front momentarily. Harry Jaman fights back as they get to it and it's Jomon who jumped it the better and now goes half a length up from Harry Jaman in second. Clara Bell cruising in third. Then Lion Zone and Watch Disorder and then crackled after that one. Geraldo's now getting back into it. Fiddler's Bino and Eyes of an Angel still there. There's absolutely nothing that is still on its feet out of this race and it's Jomon in the lead then from crackled as they race down towards the final two fences. They'll be swinging for home shortly and Jomon has now got on by a length to Crackled and Clara Bell Geraldo fighting back under a big weight then comes Orlando Princess and watch this order Fiddler's Bino is next Harry Jaman has dropped out of it over the second last they go and it's Jomon in front from Clara Bell and Orlando Princess over the final fence they go in now and Jomon still in front but Clara Bell is now beginning to battle on the outside they're inside the final furlong and Clara Bell hits the front it's Clara Bell for Graham Kutzmock in the lead Jomon's in second Geraldo's back in third but it's going to be Clara Bell looks like she's going to take the Ultima racing up towards one it's going to be Clara Bell that wins it. Clara Bell the winner. Joe Mon second. Fiddles Bino third. Then watch his order and Gerardo and Crackled and Obsidian Shard after that one. And all the way back to long time leader Harry Germain. And Graham Clutterbuck said on the preview show that he fancied it for a place. He didn't say he fancied it for a win, but that's what it's done. And Clara Bell the winner. And a decent price from just outside the handicap for Graham Clutterbuck. Joe Mon second for Craig Beckwith. Fiddler's Bino for David Robertson was third. Watched its order. Leon Van Rensburg was fourth. And Geraldo for Darren Thompson was fifth. <laughs>